Okay, so this is the TTS supercharger conversion for the 2.5 uh, Rocket 3 R, GT and TFC. Uh, we spent a long time developing this kit. It's all CNC billet all the way around, the whole front clutch cover, um, the belt guard, everything is CNC'd out of a massive piece of billet. It starts off at uh, near on 100 kilos and it's down to about seven now with everything on there. Rotrex C3094 supercharger giving us a bar of boost. Uh, we've got our uh, carbon fiber intake and goes up to the stock air filter. That means that the air is going to come in through here and it all works really, really nicely, just like OE. And then out of the supercharger into the plenum chamber. This is our plenum chamber. It's not the original air box. And uh, we've finished it off with a carbon highlight, TTS engraved, supercharged. Um, Oil tank for the supercharger is built in. There's air vents at the front here to push air across the belt and across the front of the oil tank. The oil tank has got fins across the front underneath there. So we're finding that this works really, really well. And the oil temperature is staying good. Um, so with the bar of boost, we've gone from 170 brake on the TFC unrestricted to 340 brake. Uh, we l probably uh, tame that down a bit to around 300 brake at the top end. It's going to be so powerful anyway. 270 foot pound of torque, 270 foot pound of torque. And it pulls like a train from idle to an unrestricted red line. It'll probably pull 180 mile an hour if you can hang on. Um, so there we are. It's a work of art. It's been a, a long time coming. This is the very first production bike with it on and we're very very happy with it so i suppose you want to hear what it sounds like This is the TTS Rocket 300 supercharger kit. We've built in the supercharger oil cooler into the case. We've got air vents that go through and across the front of the oil tank to cool the oil and also cool the belt. And it vents out this side. There's vent, vent rooms there and there's also vent here. So air coming in, air coming out. So we're getting through vent and through circulation to keep everything cool and it's working extremely well. Even on the dyno, our oil temperatures are not going too high. Um, air intake makes up with the stock air box. Uh, so we're using the stock air filter and it's filtering very well. It's letting enough air through and um, we're still missing a clamp here. We get that clamped up. Um, so this is the plenum chamber. So this takes the place of your air box. Um, nice bit of carbon fiber highlighting it. Um, so air comes into the supercharger, out of the supercharger, just there, straight into the plenum chamber. So it's got a very short run. Uh, it's got a good size 
plenum chamber. So the air cools as it expands. So it brings down the temperature, even though we don't have a oil, um, an intercooler, we're running quite reasonable temperatures. And I think these temperatures will be even lower on the, on the road because we get more air passed on the road than what we do here. Um, and at this moment in time, we're running 270 foot pound of torque and 330 horsepower. We'll probably detune this a little bit, give it a bit of headroom. Um, it's nice to have halo numbers, but you know, for the street, the top thousand revs you're probably never going to use. So if we nose it over a little bit and give it 300 instead of 330, I'm sure the customer's going to be more than happy. Okay, so that was the last run today, and we've got manifold pressure, AFR, still a lot of work to do on the AFR, and we're running a little bit lean at the top end, running well rich low down here, look at that, 10 to 1, and then uh, the horsepower, obviously the bike doesn't care what air fuel ratio it's running, because it's running really strong, so it's got uh, 341 horsepower, 274 foot pound of torque. So let's go back to a single graph. There we go, look at that. She's a monster. So right up here. Why is it not doing anything? Look at that, 341 at the rev limit and peak torques all the way along there. Look, peak torque is constant for the last 550 to 600, and, uh, sorry, 5,500 to 6,500 RPM. Torque is somewhere in, in the order of 270 foot pound of torque. Look at that. That's going to be fun to ride. So, yeah, yeah, a two and a half thousand revs, she's making 160 foot pound of torque. Wow, wow, that's big. Look at that.